children today i'm going to explain you the structure of a thermos flask and here you can see the structure of a thermos flask so let's have a deep understanding over the structure of a thermos flask the thermos flask is used to keep hot liquid hot and cold liquids cool as you all know the vacuum flask or thermos flask is a container that is used to keep hot liquids hot and cold liquids cold now we will discuss the structure of a thermos flask and in this video i will explain you how the thermos flask minimizes loss of heat by conduction convection and radiation so let's start as you can see in the picture the thermos flask consists of a double walled bottle okay it consists of double walled bottle which is made up of thin glass and with the inner surfaces of the wall silvered and polished means the inner part the inner part of this flask is polished or silvered so the outer case of thermos flask is made up of an insulating material now the question arises what are insulating materials materials through which heat cannot be passed are known as insulating materials such as plastic and wood so the outer case of thermos flask is made up of an insulating material such as plastic okay so this outer part of the thermos flask is made up of insulating material okay such as plastic and the mouth of the vessel is also closed by plastic and these features minimize loss of heat by conduction you can see in the picture also the mouth of the vessel is also made up of insulating material such as plastic and wood so these both feature minimize the loss of heat by conduction as you all know conduction takes place in solid okay and the mouth of the vessel and the outer case of the flask both are solid things okay but they are made up of plastic means insulating material so as you all know insulating materials do not pass heat through them so these features minimize loss of heat by conduction now the next point is it is double wall glass vessel as i told you and the space between the wall have vacuum what is vacuum vacuum a place without air or we can say a place without medium so the space between the wall have vacuum thus reducing loss of heat by convection as you all know convection takes place in gases and liquid but in the case of thermos flask there is no air no medium between two wall as you can see in the picture also here the space between two wall have vacuum if there is no air no gas okay so this feature reduce loss of heat by convection now the last point is the inner wall is silvered and polished this help to reflect heat back into the flask and thus reducing loss of heat by radiation you can see in the picture the inner wall of the flask is silvered and polished okay 
so finally as the inner wall of the glass bottle are silvered any heat that may be radiated is reflected back into the flask okay so the substances in the flask therefore retains its temperature that is it remains hot or cold for a long time thank you